Welcome back you fuckers. All right, so today we're gonna to go through how to use the infrared Mavericks in the F-18 Hornet in DCS world. So before we get started, make sure you have checked your options for the following. So you're gonna come in on the main menu. Remember you gotta do it on the main menu page. You can't do it once you're in the jet, it's too late. You've gotta do it from the main menu page. You come into options, go to special, and you're gonna scroll down to the F-18C. Once you're here, you've got some options. All right, so we're going to go down right to here. Realistic TDC SLU. So we want to, I'm going to do this with realistic TDC SLU enabled. All right, because I want it to be like how it is in the uh, the Hornet. Right, so that's what we've got checked. If you don't have realistic TDC SLU, you can just SLU it with your um, your TDC cursor. Normally, you don't have to do anything extra special. All right, but we're going to go through how to do it with realistic TDC SLU for today. Right up, so let's uh, get into a jet. I'll see you in a second. Alrighty guys, we are in the jet, so we're going to quickly cover a few controls on how to actually get your Maverick to slew around. So at the moment we've got our Maverick uh, selected, we're in air to ground mode, Master Arms on, Maverick is on, you can see that our Maverick display is showing the seeker head, what the seeker head's seeing, and that little diamond, diamond triangle on the HUD, that is where our Maverick is currently looking right now. So let's go to our controls here uh here we go so what you need bound is you're going to need throttle designated controller depress okay so you're going to need that bound and you're also going to need your uh throttle designated controller down left up right bound or if you use a little joystick on your hotas like the um the thrustmaster warthog which i use i've got a little uh, joystick mouse little uh button on the throttle there that I can slew around. You can see me moving it there. All right, so you need TDC designator. So you gotta be able to move the, t uh, the th TDC cursor. And you gotta have your TDC designate, which is also used to lock stuff up with your radar. That's your radar lock button, if you don't know what the hell that is. So you need both of those, and you also need your weapon release button, okay? Because it is technically, even though it's a missile, it is technically a uh, an air to ground weapon so air to ground always uses weapon release not gun trigger okay so need those ones bound all right and also one more fuck god damn another one uh also you're gonna need sensor control switch left right aft and forward need those ones bound as well just to select your mfds so once you've got your maverick on your said uh mfd so my left MFD, so I'm going to go sensor select left, get the diamond. All right, we've got the diamond there. So now I can control my Maverick Seeker head. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press TDC to press, which is your radar lock button. I'm pressing and holding it. All right, and if you watch there, it says uncaged, caged. So that's another one you need. Fuck, there's so many buttons. You're also going to need cage on cage. All right, cage on cage, and one more raid slash flare FOV select button. God damn, there's so many buttons, so many buttons. All right, raid flare FOV, cage on cage button. Booyah! Righto. So to move your seeker head around, okay, to slew it around. So if I want that diamond to move, at the moment I am moving my uh, TDC cursor. I'm moving it. It's not going anywhere. So you have to press and hold TDC to press and then use your TDC cursor to move Maverick Seeker head around. And then when you are happy with what you're looking at, you depress or let go of the TDC depress, and it will try and lock up whatever is in the crosshair. All right, to reset your uh, your Seeker head back to Boresight, you press Cage Uncage, and it will re slew it back to the center of your HUD there. And then the other one that we've got, Raid slash Fleer FOV, all right, is going to zoom in, zoom out. So we're in wide field of view right there. And now we're in narrow. So that box, you can zoom in a little bit. Not a heap, but you can zoom in a little bit. So that is how you move your targeting or your seeker head around on the other uh, Mavericks. Couple of options here. You've got instantaneous for this is fusing options, delay one, delay two, or ship. If you're going after ships, you can put it on ship and it'll track. It'll give you a, uh, a bigger lock on area to find something but generally with the maverick on the hornet you're not going to be using it to chase ships most of the time we've also got white hot black hawk okay 
So we're going to go ahead and press active pause and see if we can lock up a target. So let's bunt the nose down here. So down here at our on our little uh, target area. So we've got speed break out and then go in. So I'm just going to use this guy to see if we can find something. There we go. It's locked up something there. So let's pause again. Active pause is on. All right. So you can see we've got some targets down there. A little bit hard to make them out. All right. You can go to black hot if you would like. No, that's not really working. Cool. All right, we'll just leave it in white hot. But anyways, so you've got our crosshair right there. We want to put the target we're after in between that crosshair. And then once you've got it roughly there, you're going to deep, uh, let go of TDC to press. And it's going to lock on. All right. When you know it's locked, it'll say Mav F and you'll have ready. Okay. When it's not locked onto something. All right. It says Mav F is X'd out and it'll be flashing at you, it won't say ready. Okay, so that's how you can tell if you've got a lock or not. And it is a little bit finicky. So there we go. So we've got a lock there, Mav F. So now we can fire that Maverick at that ground target that we've uh, designated. You can see where the uh, the Maverick Seeker is looking at. So that guy right there on the airfield is what we're gonna go ahead and fire on him. So when we fire, we the correct term is rifle. So we're gonna hit the weapon release rifle maverick away and we don't need to worry about it it is fire and forget so we'll just put ourselves in a bit of a bank around and we'll go and have a look at this maverick doing its work so it's locked on it picked up on that uh, heat signature on the ground of that tank and had asked a question on how do I do that view at the end. So when you're getting to roughly where you went, I'm going to press left control F11, freezes the camera, and then a boom. One dead BTR. All right, so that is how to do a Maverick fire, Maverick release, using the Maverick Seeker head only. So now we're going to go through how to use the targeting pod. So stand by, we'll get myself realigned and we'll go through targeting pod, using the targeting pod. Right, guys, we're back. So we're gonna go in through the targeting pod now. So I've got a waypoint down there designated uh, roughly in the area. So we're, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna make sure we've got our uh, FLIR pod as soy. So we've got the diamond there. So I press sensor select right, make the diamond on the FLIR pod. So we're gonna slew our FLIR pod to that said uh, waypoint, so we're going to go waypoint designate on our HSI or an SA page, works on both. All right, now we've got our targeting pod looking in the general area. So, a couple of things to note here. So, on the targeting pod, normally when you press raid slash FLIR FOV, it switches between narrow and wide when you press that button, but because we've got the Maverick uh, on our other page, it's even though we've got this sensor as soy. When you press raid slash FLIR FOV, it's going to change the Maverick every time. So if you want to zoom in, go from narrow to uh, wide, you've got to manually push the button on this one. So just keep that in mind. That is a thing you've got to be mindful of. So we're going to go ahead and pick out a target. We're going to zoom in. So get him right on there. Let's zoom right in. We're going to go for this guy right here. Once we've got the target ready to go we're going to press tdc to press to designate the target with the targeting pod and we know it's designated because it will switch to a diamond all right so i'm going to press tdc to press now we've got the diamond on we've got ranging information 6.4 to target now what we're going to do with our maverick we're going to come over here and we're going to make the maverick as soy now it's automatically slewed our maverick to that target. As soon as we designated, our Maverick slewed straight to it, and we are in range. So it says in range, Mavf's ready to fire. So it has straight away locked it up. But for some reason, if you don't want to, or if it didn't go straight to it, okay, so if it was uncaged, so you've designated a target, your TDC is looking at it, or your targeting pod is looking at the target, you've got the diamond, but your Maverick is still looking straight ahead. It is still caged. All you have to do is press the cage on cage. So press it and hold it till it slews over 
and then it's going to go straight to wherever the point is on the ground that your uh, Titan Pod's looking at. And then as long as you get the uh, in-range cube and you've got the Mav ready, so remember the difference. Okay, so it still says we're in range, but we've got the Mav F is X'd out. So we can't fire. So I press TDC, uh, sorry, uh, cage on cage. Mav F is no longer crossed out and it says Mav F ready. We can go ahead and fire our Maverick <clears throat> at that target. All right, so we're gonna, let's get speed break out. Let's see if we can get a couple of, uh, couple of rifles off here. So we're gonna go ahead now and rifle on that one. Let's zoom out. See if we can find another one here. Another one there. Is that one? Yep. We'll uh, TDC designate on him. Got another one in range and rifle on him. See if we can get another one. And rifle on him. Alright, so we just went ahead and shot three using the targeting pod to slow our Mavericks. There's one shack. Two shack. Altitude. Three Altitude. shacks. Using our targeting pod to designate. All right, so we just rippled off three Mavericks. So you can t take out four targets on one pass, essentially using the targeting pod, as long as you've got the designation diamond and it's in range of the Maverick. Okay, so it has to say in range and you have to have the Maverick not X'd out. If, it's, if the Maverick F is X'd out on your HUD, it will not fire. Just keep that in mind. Alrighty, boys. I hope you fucking learned something then. So if you did, like always, make sure you hit the like button on the video. Give the channel a big old fucking subscribe. And then if you haven't as well, come on over to Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday on Twitch at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. Come on in. Give me some shit. Hang out. Enjoy some banter and watch us uh, do some DCS things. Right, old fuckers. Catches on the next one. Peace.